Hi. I probably have too much light here, but um, just doing another small experiment with the um, LED light tube. One second, I'll get this other one. As you remember, these were LED uh, light tube replacements for fluorescent, but they're not the new ones with the electrics. They're just straight 24 volt um, replacements. So if you want to put these in in the place of fluorescent lights, these ones are four feet long, then you uh, have to take the ballast out and run 24 volt to them. I'll just put this back. Or you could do what uh, Glenn, the mad scientist, does. Okay. Now, you remember I showed you with the 24 volt power pack I made uh, with the three uh, used 9 volt batteries because a used 9 volt battery will usually give between 7.5 and 8 volts so uh, three of those at let's say 8 made 24 you know anywhere from 20 to 24 volts let's say and it worked just fine now I, I, I know there's a lot of light here but I'm sure you can still see what I did was I hooked two of these used 9 volt batteries together, um, you know, giving me maybe uh, 15 or 16 volts, and uh, have these connectors on, you know, the power cord instead of the battery pack. So let's see what happens when I hook it up. I've got it do this. As you can see, they work. Here, one second, I'll just uh, hook it on properly. There. That's a bit easy. That's a bit easier. Anyways, we have the 16 volts. I the 9 volt batteries I just have the uh, a positive to a negative and then I have these here and the positive and negative then they go through to the coupler here you know where I have where I use these cords and you can just put the power supply from one light to another one and we get fluorescent light now instead of being 24 volt it's only at most 16 but still it uh, you know if you didn't have electricity this would be the difference between living in the dark or uh, you know having light and there's a lot of people out there that even though they're working full-time they still can't afford electricity so uh, this is just one of my crazy things I do I'd eventually like to put this into the camper but anyways oh yes I should say thank you to the guys at Design 21 in Edmonton. Um, they're great guys. They, th these tubes I actually, I actually paid for uh, at a nice discount. But um, So what you would probably do is use you know, less expensive LED and maybe 12 volt. But still, y you get the idea. You know, uh, thanks to their lights, uh, thanks to their lights and the free batteries I got from Battery World <laughs> and a few connectors if you cannot afford electricity because the house is expensive the kids are expensive you know uh, the kids could come home and do their homework under light instead of no light if you can't afford electricity now, by the way, those tubes I made uh, with the adapter a, a while ago, they're still going beautifully, just amazingly. Uh, this one is a 12 volt. The other one that I don't have turned on is a 24 volt. But once again, I just took the containers that those fluorescent LED tube replacements came in and made these lights and 
uh, <laughs> once again very very cheap very easy to make and these lights the, these light sticks were actually old stock that couldn't really be sold anymore so I got them for a really 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 great price the guys at design 21 are amazingly great and if you don't if you don't live here just go to a uh, shop that specializes in design or LED equipment and say um, I'm poor I can't afford electricity my kids have to do their homework please can I have some old equipment that you can't sell you know uh, get hold of some lights some uh, used 9 volt batteries they don't have to be new used 9 volt batteries are free at battery shops because they get so many pounds of them each day uh, as you see you don't even need the proper connectors but it would help and five they're like a buck each and uh, so a, a bit of wire some free or inexpensive LED light bulbs and some batteries I mean there are times when we can't afford electricity don't let your kids live in the dark anyways uh, I'll stop rambling and I just wanted to show you guys the my latest um, you know experiment one second let's just look at this with the lights turned off yes they're already starting to dim but if you understand that uh, that's only at most 16 volts instead of 24 and I got 10 pounds of these batteries from uh, the uh, battery from battery world just for the asking and you know, you know they had like a 50 gallon container full of these batteries so if you need the energy I'm sure it's just there for the asking uh, oh yes and I've been playing with this for <laughs> for about an hour so uh, yeah I think I've gotten quite a bit out of those two used batteries so anyways um, if you can't afford electricity don't sit in the dark just you know innovate do these things have fun and uh, you know then we can't afford electricity all the time those times when we can't at least we can have stuff like this anyways that's the end of this very boring impromptu video I would like to say once again thank you to the guys at Design 21 and um, everybody have a good day. I hope I uh, have shown some people the light. Ha 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 ha.